What's going on everybody? It's your boy Crypto Miguel here. Coming to you today with another update video on this uh, Sapphire RX 570 16GB blockchain card. Um, you know, still going behind me as you can see here. Um, had some cool updates on it, you know. But, you know, before we talk about it, we just have to dig into the intro. So... And as you know, guys, you've got to go give my website some love, guys. CryptoMichaelDesigns.com. <clears throat> Be sure to go there, man. Show me some love, guys, as you know. But today we are talking about the same thing we were yesterday. Um, today we mined, for this past 24 hours, we mined CE31, uh, Kukka2, uh, yeah, Kukka2, 31, uh, not Kukaroo 29, but Kukaroo 31. Um, you know, we mind that. We're still on this card. Um, still mining on the MW Grim Pool. Everything's been pretty good so far. Um, no issues there. So, um, you know. Everything's been pretty good, guys. Um, you know, I'm, I'm averaging a pretty good, I would say, good rate. Um, yeah, I did find out some information about the drivers that I was using. Uh, thanks to Edward from uh, Sapphire. So, awesome, awesome help there, guys. You know, I'm using a different drivers than I probably should be did some testing I've already reinstalled uh, Ubuntu three times a day because of the drivers um, so we're sticking with the other with the regular drivers for now <clears throat> I'll pull those up for you right now there's the test numbers there you go um, as you can see guys the down there at the very bottom you got your base better and best um, hash rates depending on all of your settings you know I'm using AMD GPU Pro drivers I was trying to get the AMD ROCM drivers working but I my you have to have a PCI 3.0 and you have to have um, atomics on your CPU um, this board does not, so I am running AMD GPU Pro drivers. Um, I'm getting on the better side of this, um, you know, due, probably due to my CPU being a quad core. Um, you know, I'm getting about 0.4, um, you know, 4.2 on the highs of you know, graphs per second on Grin Kukka 231. Uh, that's the ASIC algorithm. Um, that's the one that requires 11 gigabytes to get onto. So the card has 16 natively. Um, you know, and uh, you know, I'm pulling about 100, about 138 to 143 watts on it at 40. 45% fan speed uh, so it's running pretty cool um, you know, like 54 degrees currently what's running which is what it says in the picture too um, I know that when this card goes to my buddy Nemesis he's going to try out the AMD ROCM drivers for me because I cannot so uh, thanks a lot buddy I appreciate it because um, I can't do it it's kind of a bummer but you know it is what it is I'll turn that a little bit um, you know so you know everything everything will work out but you know it's you're better off having the PCI 3.0 with atomics cuz you're going to get two two graphs compared to what I got I was getting like 1.6 graphs uh, 
you know, so there's a big bump there. Uh, not too big of a bump from what I'm already getting. I'm getting, you know, 1 point or 0 0.42 graphs already. I'd be getting 0.47, which is still better uh, if I had the other one, uh, the ROC drivers. So we'll just have to make do with what we got for now. I ain't mad though. You know, it happens. So. Uh oh. There we go. Oops. Where are they at? There they are. Okay. So. That dodge up there. <clears throat> but. Everything is working all good. You know, so far, so good. Um. Other than having to reinstall a lot of things, but everything is working a little better because I was testing a lot more previously before I had to reinstall, so I could have like messed some things up, and it seems to be working a lot smoother now. Um, you know, it's going pretty stable, so it's good. Everything is good. Life's good. Things are great. Um, we're still grinning away. So tomorrow I will have another update video for y'all maybe um, I'm trying to think tomorrow I might try to rebuild my AMD rig behind me here it's been patiently waiting its turn to get turned back on um, plus I need to run some other tests as well uh, plugging it into Hive OS seeing if Hive OS will even recognize it um, it is a, fer a version of Ubuntu so it should um, Drivers wise, uh, not so good. So we'll see. We'll see what we can figure out and we'll go from there. But, you know, not a lot of extra interesting news today, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, you know, I'm still just kind of testing things away. I'm still a little, ah, this from this morning having to reinstall Ubuntu like three times. Uh, drags a brother down but I'm going to grind on anyway I hope y'all grind on I hope y'all continue to stay here You know, like and subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you can see all of the updates that I'm doing guys uh, lots of awesome stuff is coming down the pipeline um, so you know be sure like subscribe hit the bell notification guys you know, um, you know, without further ado, guys, I'm not going to hold y'all up and ramble on about a bunch of nonsense, so, yeah. <laughs>